It seems French President Nicolas Sarkozy has said that the burqa is not welcome in France. Um, Nicholas, if you're going to outlaw an article of clothing, I have some better ideas. Um, little shorts that say juicy across the butt. Cargo pants. Cargo pant shorts. Baggy pants in general. I mean, they've had their time in the sun. It's over. Make them illegal. But to make the burqa illegal? That's just ridiculous. And you're doing it for feminist reasons? I, I do find it offensive. And I do find it offensive from a feminist perspective. But is the feminist thing for a big strong man to do uh, going and telling a bunch of women what they can and can't wear? Dear feminist women, I am here to save you. Um, they'll, they'll be real appreciative, I'm sure. The, the other, uh, when, when he's not trying to pull the feminist heartstrings, it becomes a, uh, a child welfare issue. Poor girls are forced to wear this by their parents. Sarkozy, if you continue with this line that you're doing it for the children because their parents force them to wear the burqa, then you're going to be hearing from every little girl in France writing you, Oh, Monsieur Sarkozy, bonjour. My uh, mama and papa will not let me wear the cute little mini skirt. And you're going to have to write them back and say something to them like, Wow, little girl, for someone living in France, your accent is terrible. Um, parents get to decide what their kids wear, and, and you can protect them from physical harm. You can make it illegal to marry them off at 14. You know, there's certain things that are reasonable. But I draw the line at telling them what to wear, even if what they're wearing is uh, somewhat oppressive. I would much rather see them welcomed into Western society, able to uh, intermingle within it and, and see the rewards of it, and see normal, healthy, nice people that are walking around without the burqa that aren't depraved sex fiends. Um, well, there's some of those out there, too. Damn! <laughs> Maybe make them illegal. Although I'm sure I'd be pretty high on the list of people that would be uh, coming after. I mean, I have some friends that would go down first, but you'd get to me before too long, I'm sure. Particularly funny coming from you, Sarkozy. Look at the horrible stuff French people make their kids wear. <laughs> Just kidding, my French friends. No, seriously, some of that stuff's pretty bad. And there's a serious irony in the fact that this is coming out of the fashion capital of the world. I mean, are you going to also make uh, the, the fashions that are designed to look good on no one except for anorexic supermodels that come out of France every year illegal? Being as you're such a feminist and such a lover of children everywhere. We're not going to make Islam go away by legislating it away. In fact, I don't think making it go away is a good goal at all. There are moderate Muslims everywhere. I have a pleasure to call several of them my friends. There'll be a lot more of them if we don't go forcing people to fight to defend their customs and just say, you, you want to wear the burqa? That's okay. If you don't want to let them in banks, um, that's understandable. And if you want to say, you know, before you can pass a security thing, you have to go in a private room with a woman that can screen you then, um, then, then that's acceptable. But uh, to be able to walk around on the street in a burqa is, is a right that they have. And, and if it was ever made illegal in my country, I would go get myself a burqa immediately and start wearing it post-haste. <laughs> now, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to petition real hard to get it made illegal here just to see me do that, I'm sure. Darn you! And you realize if you make the burqa illegal, you're just going to fetishize it. I mean, what's that going to bring about? Are there going to be unstrip clubs where you go in and you pay money to see women covered from head to toe? Oh, put it on, baby, put it on. Extra 50, even veil the face. Oh, my God, it's killing me. And for those of you that are concerned about the woman in this position, um, strengthen the efforts to uh, give people that do want to leave that lifestyle the right to do so and, uh, and give them the support that they need in doing so, the support and the protection and the safety. That's a lot more work than making an article of clothing illegal, but it's also going to be a lot more effective. I don't, I don't want to be part of the group that's uh, fighting religion. I want to be uh, part of the group that's fighting for free speech and, and civil liberties. And uh, I would welcome religious people to fight alongside me in that fight. The, the ones that I would reach out to and would love to know and to work with are the ones that, that do respect those very rights and understand the importance of them, even in situations where, where we don't agree with what's being expressed. We uh, agree with the right to that expression. Little shorts that say juicy across the butt. Cargo pants. Cargo pants shorts. Baggy pants in general. 